Thank you very much, David. It is a, a great privilege to be here today and to help uh, salute the completion of Beacon 2.0. Um, I am pleased, obviously, to be with my colleagues. Uh, this has been a collaborative effort. Senator Whitehouse, uh, strongly supportive, along with Senator, uh, Congressman Langer and Congressman Cicilline, of the efforts to secure the $21 million through the Recovery Act to help uh, start this process. But there was also $10.7 million contributed by the private sector, by partners in this. So this is truly a public-private partnership. And I salute uh, this private partnership, which includes the state too, and I'm delighted to see the governor here because his leadership has helped immensely. Uh, there are, are many things that we can be proud of Rhode Island. One thing starting today is we probably have the best fiber optic statewide system in the country. So let's pat ourselves on the back of it. I also want to uh, recognize someone else, and that is uh, Dale Thompson. Uh, Dale is going to retire uh, shortly after 25 years as director of the province public library. And she has uh, nurtured and built this library, so it is a great and even better place than when she took over. And thanks so much for what you've done, Dale. And you represent so many, not just librarians, but committed citizens who want to contribute to our community. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> what we're about today is uh, connecting, collaborating, innovating and expanding opportunity for all of our citizens. One of the things that impressed me very much a few years ago when I'm in the Pawtucket Library is I walked in and expecting in the afternoon to see some folks reading some magazines and, and maybe checking a book here and there, and there was a smattering, but the place that was mobbed, there was a waiting line to get in, was the computer center. And it was explained to me very simply is that the only way you can get a job today is to get online and apply. I come from the days where you filled out the clipboard, handed it over the petition to the nice person on the other side, and waited for a call. That doesn't happen. You have to have access to computers. And you have to have access to more and more powerful uh, programs, etc. And that's what we're doing today here. We are empowering people throughout this state, institutions to do research, libraries to serve people, not just their intellectual curiosity, but trying to find a job, schools, uh, businesses. This is what the future looks like if we seize it and use it correctly, and that's what we're trying to do here today. The other aspect I think is important to note is that we still have work to do. We've got the infrastructure but now we have to make it work for everyone. I did a small business roundtable about a year ago, and it was pointed out that 97% of Americans today are shopping and doing business online. Most of our small businesses don't have a website. Most of them aren't really physically connected to the, the internet. And so we have got to take this infrastructure and put it and make it real in the lives of all of our citizens. And the bottom line is if we do that, we will grow the economy, provide opportunity, and do what we all want to do, move Rhode Island forward. Thank you very much.